Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to edit player data on a Minecraft server. Before we get started, we need to find the player's UUID by their username. I will have a link to the mcuuid.net website where you can find a player's UUID by searching their username. First, we're going to go to the NBT Studio GitHub page that I'll also have linked in the description to download the nbtstudio.exe file. Once done so, we want to make sure the player that we are editing is not logged on to the server. We will then log on to the Bisect Hosting Games panel and choose our Minecraft server. We're going to choose the Stop button to stop the server. Then we can go to the Files tab. And we're going to go into the world folder or whatever your world name is. And then the player data folder. Within this folder, we need to download the player's uuid.dat file. Again, you can use the mcuuid website to grab this ID. This will automatically zip this file up when downloading. So we need to go to the file, right click and choose extract here so we can extract this and we have a .dat file. Once we've done so, we can go ahead and launch NBT Studio by launching the .exe file. We will then choose File and choose Open File, and we're going to open that .dat file that we downloaded earlier. Once this opens up, we can then change anything we would like with the player data, and when we've done so, we can choose the Save icon. We can then go back to the Bicep Toasting Games panel, and within the same folder, we're going to go ahead and delete that uuid.dat file that we downloaded earlier. This will be the old file, and we need to import the new one. Once we've done so, we can go ahead and drag in the new uuid.dat file into this folder. Remember not to change the name of the uuid file. It'll just be changing the contents within the file itself. Once it's uploaded, we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we'll have edited player data on our Minecraft server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.